Okay, so I printed out some reference. It's just some Kirby, some Sideshow, some other comic stuff. And this, of course, was printed on my Algu Mars. The detail, of course, is incredible. Now, I thought a good way to paint this would be to sort of stick it together, kind of, <laughs> and put some tape there so the blue didn't get over. And I'm using my Vallejo paints, which, again, you know, one coat wonder stuff. I love this paint. It is amazing. Links are in the description below. So I paint the legs up, and, of course, I'm using the model itself as a stand. And now I am working on all these little details. This was a fiddly little paint job, but it was fun. If you're wondering why I have one blue fingernail, it is uh, R2-D2 blue. I was painting R2-D2 blue parts that day, and that paint does not come off a fingernail. I want to tell you, that was there for days. So there we go, and it's looking pretty sharp, and now we're going to go with the purple. And of course, Galactus has got a crazy paint job. I mean, blue and purple... And if you look at some of the old Kirby stuff, you know, he's got bare legs and bare arms and it looks even more ridiculous. But hey, it's classic Kirby stuff. So I'm working on the base. I'm going to make it look sort of Mars-like and just a really simple paint job for that. And there you go. Now it's time to do some detail work. I didn't show all the detail work just because, you know, watching me paint little tiny fiddly parts can be fairly tedious. I know it was doing it. So here we go. I'm just using really, really fine brushes to get that stuff in. Now it is a question of putting it all together with some nice JB weld. And I'm going to just put the legs in first so that, you know, they're in there in place, but they can still move. I'm not letting this dry in between these two coats here because um, I need to move those legs around. You can see I had to sort of pull them in together. So I wouldn't glue this together and then stick him into the base because the legs might have to shift a little bit. So again, more weld and then putting the torso on and then the arms. How this stayed, I do not know, but it did stay. But it was still a little loose even though I used the weld. Uh, but to get it to firm in there, I put some clamps in. Again, a little bit more fiddly work to make sure. And I like the eyes. I'm going to go ahead and fix that up as we go. Now it is head time. And again, I just love this model, how he's sort of looking down his arm. It's that real sort of classic look of when he first created the surfer, like in the palm of his hand. Now I'm using some of that um, dark wash, and it's the purple. And you can see in the other ear sort of antenna how that just sort of really makes it look aged and really gives it some depth. Sort of wipe it over with my finger, and uh, I love how that dark wash looks. It's the uh, army dark wash. Again, links are in the description below. Now you might notice he's super shiny. I gave him a really super clear coat. I wanted him to be really, really bright and shiny. And now I'm putting on the board. And now it's time for the surfer. I put a little bit of glue on his feet and knees and it's very humid. And he keeps sticking to my fingers and I also might have some glue on my fingers.